This is a really cool final area element. This is a cool room. Good interior design. Definitely better than Alder's interior design. Alrighty, crazy music go! Starting with the big guns, all right. See if I can put some loose seed on you for constant drainage. Mm. I'm expecting this fight to be difficult, just FYI. But it is the finale, so it wouldn't be right if it weren't. Let's see if I can avoid a full restore business. I'd love to have some way to slow you down. Oh, there's the full restore. I say it before it happens because I know it'll happen. Judging by how much uh, damage Alex can take from this guy, this may be a prime opportunity to run her out of her full restores if she will decide to pursue that path. Well, it looks like she is not pursuing that path. In which case, why don't I not use the nice punch? Be wasting PP. Alex isn't gonna do much against you, but let's put in the... Oh, darn. He's gonna have a last-ditch superpower. And I guess we'll just have you and Max survive a little bit later on. Now, let's see. You'll have an ice move. You'll probably have Blizzard or something. Nah, Chip won't like that. Ooh, full paralysis? Yeah. Miss full paralysis, whatever. Let's make it happen. Now, um, Morris with hammer arm out to fully KO this person. Loving that part ice type. Oh, there's Agron, which is just begging for an earthquake. Not 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 like that. I, I meant being used on it. Like so. Oh my. And it's just going to keep using Earthquake, so 
healing Boris would be a futile attempt. Or double edge, okay. Fine, be illogical like that. Well, at least now I know it doesn't have sturdy. It has a uh, rocket or whatever the lack of recoil thing is. Shred gun. An ice punch with your name on it. And it's a perfect 2KO. Oh, that, that was a little frightening right there. And there's your Haxorus, which I'll bet it outspeeds Alex. Just about 100% sure of that. Let's see what it can dish out. That's Earthquake, that's not too bad. It's a little bad, but not too bad. I guess it doesn't have anything specifically to deal with water types, although I'm not sure I would expect it to. How's that rage though? Wonder why it waited. Right, and this is the part where I use Max Revive again. Uh, with luck, um it will get confused on the second turn rather than the third. And then I'll be able to punch it and it'll hurt itself and everything will go nicely. Ooh. How convenient. Did not expect Amanda to live that, actually. Uh, and apparently it doesn't want to get confused this turn, which is fine by me. So that means I can get this attack in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey Amanda, you know be the best thing is if you just kept using Air Slash and he kept flinching and didn't uh, avoid the attack. No, oh, you would snap out of confusion, wouldn't you? That was ultra dangerous. Um, but if everything goes in order according to plan again, he will um, hurt himself on this turn, and I'll be at full health. I can use an ice punch and take whatever he dishes out. still stick with Hyper Potions. It's not so narrow. No, don't do that. You're supposed to hurt yourself in confusion once in a while. Alright, now hurt yourself in confusion this turn, maybe. I mean, the confusion would help me in two ways. It would solidify my Ice Punch's devastatingness. Oh, man. Let's see if he just dishes out another Outrage, which he totally would. Then that would be game over. Like that, see? You hurt yourself sometimes. It's a thing that happens. Of course, it wouldn't be a, a death I play through without spamming Hyper Potions waiting for the opponent to do something. 
Like that. Excellent. And that is game. Oh, now you do it twice in a row, of course. Why wouldn't you? Oh, right, you still have Archeops. I always forget that you still have Archeops. Always is in both times. Excellent. It's still faster, though, so I'm not taking any chances. Perhaps an instant defrost. Alright. Fantastic. And that is Champion Iris. Final fight of Pokemon Black 2. Freaking weird, but badass entrance to the Hall of Fame. Well, yeah. That, um, that wraps up the Pokemon Black 2 Blind Stream. So let's check out the final team. I honestly don't think I could pick an MVP for this playthrough. Sometimes it's obvious, here, really not. And after 38 hours and 32 minutes of game time, uh, a little less than that for the playthrough, this is all wrapped up, so let's watch the credits, and then we'll be done. Are, are these Pokemon just gonna hang out and swap in? Alright, so yeah, we don't get a group shot. Fireworks! But yeah, this definitely wraps up the Black 2 Blind Stream. I am not continuing this. This has been a somewhat um, exhausting week going through all this. A lot of Pokemon. But overall, pretty fun. Some people wouldn't be joking about me going through the subway and the fan service tournament. Truly. Um, but yeah, I should remind everyone that this is not the official Black 2 vs. White 2 playthrough or whatever. I'm still figuring out the logistics of how exactly I'll do things. Um, but... Basically, I, I will be doing a solo run. I don't know... If it would be worth doing another Black 2 thing, um, since we have already showed this. But it's, at the same time, I do like the, the effort of the direct comparison thing. 
afraid I'm wearing out that gimmick, but I don't know. And of course the other annoying thing is that I would like to do my solo run on normal mode, but also on white too. Um, and if I were to do a direct comparison playthrough, I'd want that to be a direct comparison with challenge mode. Um, but to get challenge mode on my black 2, I would have to come into contact with another file of black 2 that has unlocked the challenge mode key. Which is frustrating. The alternative would be to do a solo run on black 2 and do um, a super special team run on challenge mode white 2. I'm not sure how well I could get away with that. There is an action replay code. Guess who has an action replay? Not me. Actually, that's not true. I have an action replay, um, but I don't have the drivers for it or anything on my current PC, and I don't know if it's compatible. Still, it's, it's annoying and frustrating. No, RPG, I am not doing it on an emulator. Why would I do it on an emulator when I have an actual DS capture device now? some good credits music, actually. It's not like the ultra-dramatic, epic credits music from Black and White 1, but it's pretty good. Not the best in the series. Still pretty good. Now then, I need to figure out what I don't want to do with this, I think, 33 hours of footage I have now. Do I want it to be an extremely long series, um, dividing things logically by area? Do I want it to be a 33-part series of hour-long episodes? Or, I don't know. It'll be posted on YouTube in some way, shape, or form, but I'm not sure how I want it to be divided. Part of the point was to have minimal editing, so, who knows. Oh god, this is going to be a long series. I guess I'll just have to look at the footage and see what works out best. I mean, my, part of my reservation with having a long series of this is that I would then have another Black 2 and White 2 series somewhere in the near future. Maybe not super near future. Uh, but that'd be, that's a lot of Pokemon. There's so much Pokemon. <laughs> this is good music, too. It's, try, it's, it's trying to call back to the gold, silver, crystal credits, where I would have the simpler version of the credits theme afterwards. But, unfortunately, the credits theme isn't quite as good as, as the gold, silver, crystal credits. Nobody would watch a two-hour long video, though. That's... Oh, I did that in Ruby Sapphire and Emerald? Doesn't surprise me. It's a good effect, actually. But I have very minimal experience with Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, honestly. I never freaking... I mean, I beat it, but 
whenever I play through it, I, I never beat it, if you know what I'm saying. I just don't bother beating it. I, I get to Sidopolis and I lose interest. But yeah, why don't we? Move along? <laughs>